How can God love me? What is my purpose? What happens after death? Why do bad things keep happening to me? Who is God? Hi, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Ask GHCC. This week's question relates more to the men, although I'm sure it can affect the ladies as well. But it's something that's on the heart of every man, certainly every Christian man, who wants to do God's will with his family and his marriage. And the question was simply this. What does it look like for a man to lead his wife or his family in today's society? One of the most common misunderstandings with this is many guys think that they have to be spiritual giants and biblical scholars to be able to lead their family. They don't. I remember when I got married, I had only been a Christian for two years, and I was marrying a woman who had happened to come from a pastor's home and had been walking with Jesus since she was five. And I remember the pastor during our premarital asking me three questions that really helped me to understand how I could lead my family spiritually and be in the kind of a man that they needed and wanted. And he simply said this. He said, Larry, do you know how to read the Bible? And I said, sure. And he said, can you make sure that's happening in your home meaningfully with your wife and family? And I said, yes, I can. He said, do you know how to pray? And I said, yeah, I know how to pray. He said, then you, can you make sure that praying with your wife and someday praying with your children is a priority in your home? Can you take responsibility to make sure that's happening? Yeah, I said. And then he said, can you know, do you know how to go to church? And I said, well, yeah, I know how to go to church. Obviously, at the, at the time, having no idea where I'd end up, but he said, when you get married, can you take the responsibility of making sure that your wife and your family are plugged into a good local Bible teaching church and are vitally engaged there as a high priority in their week? Can you do that? Can you model that? I said, yeah, I can do that. He said, if you'll do those things, if you will love your family by living out what it really means to be a follower of Jesus, read the word with them in meaningful ways, pray with them in ways that are consistent and connects with them, and make sure they're involved together in a church and see that as a high priority in your life, you can help to lead your family the way God intends it to be done. The big need in most families is for men simply to make Jesus the priority to fall in love with them themselves, and to ask their family to follow his lead as he follows Jesus. And if more and more men would do those simple things out of a sincere love for their family and a love for God, we would see more families being discipled and strengthened by Jesus Christ.